Hey, Shazam 15 here. And this week we shall tremble before Puss in Boots. Okay, so what did I love about this film? Well, it was one of those films that is just entertaining all the way. Being in the same franchise as Shrek, you've got the jokes for the adults, you've got the jokes for the kids. That's lovely. I've got to admit, when I first heard the title of this film, I was assuming something like, well, Puss in Boots. What you instead get is a retelling of Jack and the Beanstalk set in the golden age of the former Spanish Empire. Basically, it's very Latin America is the vibe that's going around. But, you know, less said, the better. Right. Mostly, it revolves around the story of Jack and the Beanstalk, but in a really weird and funky way. But I'll explain that as I go along. Antonio Banderas, but on Sam Hayek, lovely. And, you know, the plot line's interesting, to say the least. You've got some wonderful scenes, not the least of which is the scenes in the glitter box slash litter box which is, it should have been a club, but it became a cat club when humans abandoned it. And the G's now gone, so it's now the litter box. So it's a cat Spanish dance club, complete with brilliant orchestration of improvised instruments such as fishbone scales to do washboard effects, and playing the guitars is kind of fun and funky. Um, there's... It's just a wonderful set of scenes in the glitter box, not least of which for the rather silly little cat character who every now and again will go, ooh. I love that guy, he was amazing. <laughs> other really, one of my other favourite jokes in this is when he's going through the list of Puss's belongings and is discovered that he has catnip and he goes uh it's for my glaucoma I don't think he's got glaucoma but then again I've never seen him glassy eyed so if he does have glaucoma it sure works <laughs> um the idea of having a female cat thief was a lovely touch especially one who has been declawed which is why she's got such a light touch but means you really get the primal fear when you see her in a situation where, as a cat, all she wants to do is grab on with her claws, but she doesn't have them. Which is fun and funky. Jack and Jill are weird, and you just gotta go, okay, these are different Jacks and Jills. But then again, so is Jack the Giant Killer. Because he's a very different character to the one you remember. Oh, I've got to admit, the twist at the end, I found predictable pretty much all the way through. I won't spoil what it is, but I'd say it was fairly obvious. And, you know, it really was. But then again, it's a kiddies film. It's got to be a little bit obvious. But there's also some fun and silly things, like the fact that up in the clouds, apparently, they're breathing helium, not air, because everybody's fucking really hard like this. Um... Yeah, basically, as a family film, it's entertaining. As a kiddies film, it's great, and there's enough jokes to make it adult enough that you can enjoy it just as a group of friends just watching a funny film. So, it's basically up there in the Shrek scale of things quite nicely. It works quite... I don't know where I'd really place it, because... Mm, He's probably somewhere between Shrek 2 and Shrek 3, but, you know, we're not going to go too much into that. I've got to say, I just liked watching Puss in Boots, and Sam Hayek does have a point when she suggests that that's a lot of heel for a guy. But yeah, you get an idea of where Puss comes from, you get an idea of where he got the boots from, you get... It's a nice origin story, although... I've got to admit, it's kind of weird at the same time. It's very, very weird taking a very much English fairy tale and taking it out of its context into Creole Spain, well, Creole Latin America, and going, 
here we go. Let's see what happens. I it might have been Spain. I'm not really that... It's very hard to tell when it's that point in the old Spanish Empire. Because on the one hand, it could be Latin America. On the other hand, it could be one of the drier parts of Spain. And... Anyway, uh, watch it if you want. It's kind of enjoyable. Well, it's very enjoyable. Some of it's predictable, some of it's not. It's kind of weird, it's kind of funky, it's very Shrek. Anyway, uh, enjoy it. And pray for mercy from Puss in boots.